So today we're going to be discussing whether or not you should do a first look. <laughs> you look so good. Thank you. You look so good. You look so good. This Thank is my first you. time seeing you in your when best dress. You're younger, <laughs> it's better than anything I've ever this is coming from the perspective of a wedding videographer. I have not gotten married myself. I haven't planned a wedding. So this is strictly based on my experience of being a vendor, not as being a couple. Let's go ahead and get into the main points. The reason you should do a first look is because it's a private, intimate moment between you and your partner. And personally, when I do have a wedding one day, I would want to do this because I see how stressful weddings can be and how fast it can go by. And ultimately, you end up entertaining your guests and you really don't get a lot of time to yourselves. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that it helps reduce wedding day stress. and. As a guy, I think that the coming down the aisle puts a lot of pressure on us to act a certain way. Not a lot of guys are emotional, and if you don't have the sort of dramatic reaction, you know, people might get a certain impression from that. So that's something you may want to consider. Consider your partner, how they do in, in public, uh, in front of everybody. Consider whether or not seeing each other ahead of time, calming each other down, would help the day go by smoother. All right, so let's get into the case for doing a traditional down the aisle. The first reason is that it is traditional. There's value to tradition. That's the reason that brides typically wear whites and the reason that cakes get cut and all sorts of other wedding traditions happen. So there's definitely value to that. The other aspect is that it's more dramatic and honestly probably more entertaining for your guests to see the down the aisle and you know this may be one of the few times that you actually see your guy get emotional so there's value to that as well so let's go ahead and jump into the logistics and we'll discuss who i think should and shouldn't do a first look so the first thing to consider is time now if you have an early ceremony there may not be a lot of time to fit in a first look that would put you know additional stress on vendors photographers videographers to you know, get everything ready and move from one location to the next. Another consideration is physical logistics. If you guys are getting ready in different locations, it's particularly in different locations than the ceremony and different bride and groom prep locations, that'll make it really difficult to get from one place to the next on time. So adding on a first look in this case might add more unnecessary stress to your day. So based on the time considerations and the physical logistics, if you guys are having a late ceremony and are getting ready at the same location, then a first look would be easily achievable. Now do I think that you need to do a first look to make a great video? No. You don't need to do a first look to make a great video. I think doing a first look can certainly help add some additional content to the video and can create some sound bites. but. Really, you don't have to do one. It's all personal preference. I know what I would prefer, but I've asked a bunch of people and it seems to be divided pretty evenly down the line, 50-50. So I'm very curious to hear what you think about the points I made and what you prefer to do. So definitely let me know in the comments below. Now, if you found this video valuable, consider liking it and sharing it with others who may also find it valuable as it helps this page grow. I'll also be making more wedding video related content in the future, so if you want to see more of that, feel free to check out my social links or subscribe to this page, and I really appreciate your view, and have a good day. Cheers.